Welcome back to Fast Money. The market's wild swings can be scary as you're saving for retirement, but our next guest says there's one key to making sure it all pays off in the end. Here to give us some tips for maximizing your 401k is Gene Thompson, Senior Vice President of work Workplace Investing at Fidelity. Gene, welcome back to the show. Great to have you back. Great. Thanks, Melissa. Nice to be here. Um, you say, Ashley, if investors are looking at volatility and thinking you should make changes to your portfolio, you say no, no go. That's not when you do it, no right? No go. Yeah. No. Well, when do you sometimes do it the then? Best move, well, so, so sometimes the best move is no move at all, especially in reaction to market volatility. Um, typically, the best time to do it is when you have a change in your own life. You know, whether you're going through a divorce, you're having a life event, those are times when you may want to change, or if your time horizon changes, if you decide you want to retire earlier or you want to retire later, those would be great times to make a change, but not in reaction to what's happening in the markets. So let's say you see market decline like we saw in December or market volatility as we're seeing right now, Gene. What is the general advice for somebody? I mean, do, do you use this opportunity? Do you use uh, down days in the market to add to your 401k? That's, that's not what people want to do usually. No, it feels counterintuitive to continue to contribute as the market's going down. But the beauty of the 401k is that with every paycheck that you get, whether it's weekly, biweekly, or monthly, you're contributing in. So even when the market's down, you're getting in. And over time, those balances, your money can really grow. You know, we looked back to 2009, so 10 years ago, when the market really hit bottom. Um, and now we can see how much those accounts have grown. Back in 2009, the average 401k balance was 52,000, and today it's close to 300,000. So you can really see that long-term growth. And for millennials, it was 7,000 back in 2009, and now it's almost $130,000. So staying in um, and keeping with your plan really is where we see the long-term growth for most people. That's Karen. Let me ask you something. Does this move in rates that's been rather significant make you change anything in your plan, allocation or anything else? You know, given that it's such a long-term proposition, most people are in for 35, 40 years and in investing in the market, that again, even if the rates move, they're probably going to move again. And so what we are finding is actually in 401k plans, most people are invested in target date funds. Now more than half are in target date funds, and for millennials, it's over 70%. And so many of them are, are you know, using that professional management to ensure that they stay on track because they don't have the skill, will, or time to do it on their own and or to follow you know, rates, bond market as closely probably as they should if they were going to do it on their own. I mean, it's, it's right to think of retirement as a long-term investing process, but what if you're more like five years away or 10 years away from retirement? Should things change, particularly when you see a market downdraft? Yeah, so if you're five, 10 years away, you definitely want to keep tabs on it. But the key thing to remember is that you could be in retirement for another 25 or 30 years. We find that most people under, underestimate their longevity. They actually don't believe that they're going to live until they're 90, and many will. So you still want to make sure that you're not too conservative. But if you're getting closer to retirement and the market's going down, you do want to keep tabs on it to ensure that you're not taking on too much risk or too little risk, because you do have another potentially 30 years to go. Great advice, Jean. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Jeannie Thompson of Fidelity. Guy, which piece of advice so, do you So slow you and like? steady you, wins the race, mm -hmm. and you got to be in the market for the long haul, and you can't let yourself, you can't let the noise get to you. And I understand that the, with the, this show is now 12 and a half years old, and, and we've probably been very difficult show for the industry to stomach because <laughs> they get calls. I heard Dan Nathan say this. I heard mm -hmm. Karen say Short this. Short by puts. And blah, it makes blah, it very blah. difficult. But I'll say <laughs> this. I also think that we've raised the bar in terms of the questions that people ask. So although we can be painful to the industry, uh -huh. I also think we've made the industry better. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think the important thing that Gene said is it depends on when you're going to be retiring, right? So your time frame matters a lot when it comes to investing. We talk a lot about relatively short term trading and investing on this show. But if you're a millennial, you've got 35 years. Who cares about what rates are going to do? You know, let, let it sit there. Let it be a long term. If you've got five or 10 years, you better pay attention to what's going on in the market. Yeah, I would just say that she's also talking about 401k investing. So that's retirement investing. And, you know, a lot of people that we talk to who are not in the industry and they don't watch Fast Money, surprisingly, um, they don't <laughs> look at their 401k balances too frequently, right? right? And that's probably the best thing that you can do over the long haul because you're not going to get freaked out on some near term volatility and make a mistake.